Welcome back to Mock the Mock, where we take a look at someone else's mock draft. And I'm mocking, giving my views, thoughts, and opinions. That was a little aggressive. I'll roll back. But we're going to be checking out a mock draft today on 33rdteam.com, courtesy of Connor Live Say. But what's crack a lacking? It's your boy, Baroshmo. Just in case you did not know, so go ahead. Become bro and subscribe. Leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. As always, let me know what you think in the comment section below where we have that nice, beautiful football discourse. Let's go ahead and get this sucker started. Oh, let me minimize this real quick. Bam. Uh, I'm assuming there's no trades because we got the Cardinals staying put at one and they're taking Marvin Harrison Jr. I get it. Best non quarterback prospect in the class. It's Marvin Harrison Jr. My uh, Kyler Murray set to return this week, and you want to be like, hey, 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 we're all in, we're all in, Murray. We're here to help you, a uh, baby boo. So they go ahead and grab him some more receiving talent there with Hollywood and uh, Michael Wilson. The Bears are gonna have back-to-back -back picks here, so let's just kind of run through both of them. Now, uh, for one, they get Caleb Williams. Good on that. And what's this next one? It's going to be Olu Fashanyu. So they pay, pair up their new franchise quarterback with their new franchise left tackle. This will push Braxton Jones to uh, being a swing tackle, which I think it's fine. Olu Fashanyu, when you talk about, okay, who's the best non-quarterback prospects in this class? You go Marvin Harris Jr. And the next guy is Olu Fashanyu. So you're just getting a really good value. And you're protecting your new quarterback. They will now do a little switcheroo, I suppose. They're, they're going to move on event at this point from Justin Fields, uh, which, hey, I don't mind because, like, is he the guy? Is he not the guy? Bears fans, y'all can discuss that all that you want. I'm just looking at this from a financial standpoint, getting a new franchise quarterback, hopefully franchise quarterback, on a rookie deal. This allows you to continue to build the team and spend money on the good players that you already have on the roster a la jalen jones jalen johnson there we go but yeah no 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 i like that i like that let's go ahead i think the giants are at pick four and this is where we see drake may of course only makes sense daniel jones does have an out in his contract after next season he will no longer he won't play for the remainder of the year because of the uh the knee injury the acl which is unfortunate i say go ahead and if you're brian dayball you don't want to put all your eggs into the vanilla vic basket i think you go ahead and you bring in that competition and you look to see if you could get something better you're picking here at 40 you didn't plan on it but you're here and you can make a move that could save your job long term because i don't think you save your job if you're going to hitch your horse to the daniel jones the danny dimes uh bandwagon so to speak so i'm i'm, I'm all for that at pick five we got keon coleman going to the patriots Ooh, is an interesting one so grabbing a pass catcher okay you already saw the top two quarterbacks go off the board uh if you don't think if you think the gap's too far between uh, uh Caleb Williams, Drake May, and quarterback three, then yeah, probably you don't go um quarterback. You, you can make a good case for Joe Alt. You kind of want to do something that helps the quarterback here. Even Brock Bowers will be in the discussion. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Underdog Fantasy. When you sign up using promo code BROSHMO, they will match that first deposit up to a hundred dollar redos that means hey if you use promo code broshmo when you sign up and your first deposit's 50 they're gonna give you a hundred to play with if it's a hundred they're gonna give you a 200 to play with it's the best place to play weekly best ball as well as player prop bets higher and lower for instance these are some of gojo's picks of the week as he's got the carolina kicker higher than 5.5 points on fact bears i think they're currently like sixth or in the top five in points allowed to the kicker i got miles sanders as well as chubba hubba uh bubbard higher on their russian totals as well as bryce young came away with 41 yards this past week i think he could get over uh nine and a half and then i have a dante foreman got him having a russian or receiving touchdown 
can see it. I can see it happening. They'll be, be on the look. We might have a healthy Khalil Herbert coming back. But as always, please bet responsibly. All right, Los Angeles Rams will take Cooper DeGene. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I don't think I don't think this is a great decision, great pick. I would have taken Joe Alt because left tackle position is kind of poop. If you want to take the first edge off the board, I before that as well. Just grab more, more talent on the defensive line to help out Aaron Donald. You've already got some promising parts there in Byron Young, in um, Kobe Turner. Just continue to add. Shoot, if you wanted to go for quarterback three in this class, I don't think I would be completely against that. Going corner, I get it. You could add more more talent. The cornerback position is a very volatile position, but I just think there's you have other holes that can be addressed with better value. Because Cooper, you look at the next guys on the board here, right? Like even if you want to say Bo Nix. But like a Joe Alt, a um, whether it's Leatu Latu, Dallas Turner, uh, Jared Verse, those guys are going to be higher on most people's boards than Cooper DeJean. And like I said, even maybe a Bo Nix, uh, Michael Penix, you want to get that heir apparent or uh, Matthew Stafford. But this kind of makes the uh, Packers pick easy, and they do. They go with Joe Alt. Yeah, you get your franchise left tackle, uh, David Bakhtiari. Great career, unfortunately, been banged up the last couple. So get a replacement for him to help out your uh, your your first year starter in Jordan Love. He's going to get another year next year. Uh, the, the The pass catchers are going to be even more experienced, so you're going to be expecting a nice little bump to your offense. Joe Alt kind of helps with that. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they go Bo Nix. Bo Nix is off the board. I like this. This is. This is one of the teams where I'm okay grabbing. You're maybe not swinging for the upside of maybe some of the younger cats like Jader Sanders, uh, Quinn Ewers, J.J. McCarthy. But you take one of these more plug and play guys who they got good. They got good upside to them, and they're probably more pro ready to play. It's just they don't have the upside of those guys that I've named. Uh, and I like Bonix. Big fan. You don't have to spend more money on baker mayfield though he's having a good season you i mean honestly that could be a case to go younger as well like oh we got baker mayfield let's take a shot on jj mccarthy don't have to start him year one if he ends up winning the job he wins the job that's great and then we got a solid backup in baker so you could actually i think make a case for any of the quarterbacks really uh with this pick at 18 let's keep it rolling Denver Broncos take Liatu Latu. Uh, it sucks to see three quarterbacks already off the board. Kind of kind of ask yourself, what do we do here? I think you I like the idea of receiver, Roma Dunze, Malik Neighbors, because I really do think that Jerry Judy and Cortland Sutton, uh, one of, if not both, will be gone after the offseason. Uh, you, you can maybe make a case to take a shot at whoever ot3 is in this class because i think air bowls could be a uh cap casualty uh, don't don't really feel good about going quarterback four at pick nine it is what it is uh liatu latu i get it their pass rush could probably use a little bit more oomph and i mean technically you get the top guy off the board so it's not a bad option either Tennessee Titans go with J.C. Latham. Tackles is going to be a very popular pick for the Titans. Their offensive line has just looked in trouble. It really does. And uh, if you really want to help, not just uh, Derrick Henry, who was uh, used, who for many years was the engine of this offense, but your new play call or your new pass, your new quarterback. There we go. Uh, you're in Will Levis. Then get him more protection. We kind of seen. The Titans line, they haven't been completely healthy this year, but even when they have been, it hasn't exactly been great. So don't mind that. Whoever OT3 is for you, then send it. Go for it. I love this next pick. Chargers take Drazon Newton. Uh, Add to that defense. I don't know if Brandon Staley is going to be there. I hope for you Chargers fans, he's not. But yeah, bring in more, uh, pre more presence on the interior. Phenomenal run stuffer. Uh, Great penetrator, a guy that plays with his hair on fire. Great first step 
in Drazam Newton. I think he could be worth the top 10 pick. The Atlanta Falcons, they're not going with a quarterback for either. They're going to go with Nate Wiggins, which he, he's going to be, he's rising up a lot of people's boards, man. They, they love the, they, they love the potential. Great athlete who uh, is exceptionally young, could put more meat on the frame. Currently at 6'2", 185. He's shown really good ball skills, or at least the ability to create once he does create a turnover. Uh, so he's going cornerback or corner one right now here so you instead of going for quarterback four you you go ahead and you currently you continue to address the defense so yeah i still i think i'd like to sweep for a quarterback i think if i'm the falcons i'm gonna if i'm the falcons i feel like i'm real close and we're just a quarterback away so i might be willing to like move up like throw like throw future draft capital to see how far i can move up this draft to get that quarterback that's kind of where i'm at with the falcons washington commanders take dallas turner they did trade both chase young and mounts of sweat at the trade deadline so with only one edge currently off the board it makes sense to go edge here as well uh las vegas raiders they go with michael Penix jr listen if if you ain't gonna take them at 12 i don't think you're taking them at 14 but hey, good for the Raiders. They get their franchise quarterback. And you know, uh, O'Connell, I think, is going to be a very good backup. But I feel like that's kind of where his ceiling is. So you do want to get that next guy, address some of your stuff in free agency. Though with the Raiders cap space, I think they're going to have to kind of do a little bit bargain shopping. But yeah, go ahead and you're going to have a new coach in tow. So. Go ahead and be like, okay, this is going to be the guy for us. This is the guy moving forward. Totally forgot. Brock Bauer is still on the board. Colts take him. This is exceptionally great value. Uh, Jelani Woods is returning from injury, so they don't exactly know what they have in him. Uh, Kylan Granson is more of a big slot. They have Mo Ali Cox, better tight end too. Brock Bowers, he gives you some flexibility. Some of the other options you could take here. Uh, wide receiver you could go with like a malik neighbors you could go with a roma doing uh could take a swing on corner but i kind of like helping helping your your uh franchise quarterback and anthony richardson giving them a little bit more uh, help arizona cardinals they go with jared verse so kool-aid mckintry still on the board and people a lot of people feel Many different ways about Kool Aid McKinstry. Uh, but I, I don't mind this. Cardinal, with this this mid round, mid first round pick, you kind of want to go defense. You kind of know, like, if you stay in that top four, you're probably going to take an offensive player. But here, take the shot on a defend, uh, defender. It's kind of been your, when it came comes to the pass rush, it's been the flavor of the week. It's been a new guy every week who's kind of kind of helped out and produced, but it's never been anything consistent. They need more talent defensively. I don't care where they take it. Uh, take a position or value, a corner, an edge. And in this case, they get Jared Verse. Big fan of Jared Verse. I think he's still currently my edge 1A, 1B. Uh, it, I'm kind of like, for me, like those top three edges are pretty tight. Uh, you got Chop Robinson who got beat, beat up or banged up in that um, Ohio State game. And he was just starting to turn it on too. But I think he may have returned. I don't know. I haven't uh, didn't watch the uh, who, who did who did Penn State did, did they face Maryland this past week? Who did Penn State beat the snot out of? They do have Michigan this week. Uh, it was indeed Maryland. I thought so. I thought so. Maryland started the year 5-0, and now they're like on a four-game losing streak. Buffalo Bills, they're going to take them. Emeka Buka, so not Malik Neighbors, not uh, Roma Dunze, though Roma Dunze would be very tempting if you don't want to sign Gabe Davis. But they get, uh, they just, I don't know, man. With Buka, it's like you just get another shifty slot player, but I think you want to add a little little spice a little variety to that wide receiver core but he goes here man i'm not against like a mocha by any means i just feel like that's kind of stefan diggs 
It's not a comp either. I'm just saying they're very similar players. Uh, Marvin, Marvin Mims, or Marius Mims going to the Jets. Tackle, very popular pick currently for the New York Jets. You're going to see a lot of people mocking tackle here. It's a very good tackle class, so you're going to be more willing to take those top five guys relatively early. Listen, I know you love the NFL draft as much as I do, and you're going to want a nice hefty watch list of players during this college football season well go ahead check out my draft guide you can purchase it for only 30 bucks by venmoing or paypaling me links in the description it's a one-time payment and you get it for this whole draft cycle and forever and always technically it's a google spreadsheet so send me your email when you send the payment i'll get you hooked up you will see my current prospect rankings and big board my full evals and guess what it updates throughout the whole draft cycle so it's a great purchase and it's a great way to support the channel the new orleans saints go chop robinson again saints picking this far down you're kind of probably just taking the best player on the board i think that just makes the most sense uh cameron jordan as they put gonna be 35 next summer uh they do have carl granson they don't really know what they got in isaiah foskey as of right now so add in another edge player uh, just adding good depth i think is is a solid option there uh rejoice minnesota vikings your franchise quarterback will be jj mccarthy uh it's gonna be it's gonna be really neat to see how how the viking where the vikings end up landing in this draft order because i mean ugh. Cause you would love to get it i don't mean i don't know man there's there's people out there that really want kirk cousins back he was playing great football you are like he's got a uh, cody rhodes it finish come back and finish the story but i think you'd rather just get on the cheaper deal and that's what it that's what a rookie quarterback that's the best thing about drafting quarterback in the first round not only is it the most important position to a franchise but you get cheap at the most expensive position in the NFL. That's kind of nice. Dallas Cowboys are going Jordan Morgan. Man, remember the name. This guy's going to be a first rounder. I'm a big fan of Jordan Morgan. Uh, this kind of cements that. Uh, yeah, no, Tyler Smith is just going to sit there at guard. Uh, I really think you could kick him back out to tackle. He played tackle well his rookie season. But if they want to just keep him at guard, I guess that's fine. Uh, Morgan come in. Play that left tackle spot uh they do need to try to start pushing this youth movement on the offensive line not even necessarily youth movement but start looking for that guy that will be the replacement for a zach martin uh looking for your replacement for tyron smith uh, you got to figure out what you're going to do about tyler biotish leaving so yeah offensive line is probably uh, a favorite of a lot of people for the cowboys pick Oh, the pick so nice. We're going to see it back to back. You got Tyler Guyton going to the Steelers. I'm not in love with Guyton as much as everyone else. Everyone already thrown this guy out in the first round. I was like, and I look at him, I'm like, hey, I can see top 50, top, top 60 prospect with him. Yeah. And like, I was a big Wanya Morris guy. And I'm not that exuberant. Shoot, I was a big Anton Harrison guy. And I feel like Guyton kind of just falls in between those two guys. I get it. See, there's a, you get an upgrade from Dan Moore, but like Kool-Aid McKintree sit in here. Corner, corner will be such a good pick for the Steelers. Uh, Houston Texans take a Rome Adunze. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. Nico Collins, he's a big, big body, uh, intermediate vertical threat that can create after the catch. You get Roman Dunze, who's just kind of a freak. Uh, I, honestly, with Malik Neighbor still on the board, I imagine a Bobby Slowick offense will relish the guy that can create after the catch a little bit more, which would be Malik Neighbors, but to each their own to say Bengals are going to go with oh, I was just talking about Malik neighbors that's so funny I think 
Roma Dunze would be a nice T. Higgins replacement, and I just think Neighbors is a better fit for a Shanahan offense. It's kind of wild how that uh how that all ended up happening. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But uh yeah, we kind of get the gist. We get why we get why this happens. T. Higgins, free agent, Tyler Boyd, free agent. All right, we got Braylon Trice going to the Seahawks. Uh, I mean, you could keep dumping assets into hoping, like hoping your your pass rush will mean something someday. Like Boy Mafi starting to shoot flash a little, uh, quite a bit, like week in and week out. You still want that other guy? We haven't really seen what Derek Hall can do yet. So you could take a shot on Trice kind of hope it's it I mean, is there anything else we could do here am i going quarterback six probably not i don't think i think safety could be a nice option but i it, if edge happens to be the like the best value on your board and since you're not doing trade downs here i get it 49ers get kool-aid mckentry this is a banger pick i don't see kool-aid going this low He's hella good, but this would be a great pick for the Niners. Miami Dolphins. It's always freaking Patrick Paul, man. All the time. I get it. Everyone but me. Everyone and their mom but me is high on Patrick Paul. And I just look at him like, he can maybe be a top 75 pick. And he's just constantly in the first round. There's just other tackles I like a little bit better than, um, than Paul. But I don't disagree. Dolphins need offensive line help. And they need it desperately. Jacksonville Jaguars go Troy Fatanu. Okay, now this is like, what? Back-to-back -back mock the mocks where we found a mock draft that had an interior player going to the first round. I don't think I'm there with Fatanu. I know that, they, uh, that the Jags traded for Ezra Cleveland. But I mean, I mean, they just gave away a six-round pick for him. That doesn't mean that they're all the eggs are in that basket. Phrase that I've used a lot in this video. So they go with Fatanyu, who has flexibility to play tackle and probably even play center as well, not just guard. Uh, currently plays tackle for Washington just because, I don't know, if you got really good offensive linemen, you're pre pretty much putting them at tackle in college football. Detroit Lions, they get a corner. Denzel Burke makes all the sense in the world. Don't really need to talk about a lot uh, about this pick a lot outside of oh no Detroit fans oh not Jeffrey Aguda again hey fret not it's not like a fourth pick overall I think I think that's what he was right was it Aguda uh, the fourth overall pick I don't know you correct me in the comment section Baltimore Ravens they go Kalen Keen I do think they need a uh, that corner two. On the roster, Kalen Keen being around here is really good value, so I'm okay with that. Kansas City Chiefs, man, I could have saw this a mile away. He goes Xavier Worthy. Oh, man, we need that game-changing speed. We miss Tyreek. What is our offense? So you go ahead and you take Worthy, though the ball skill issues have kind of been a thing. We thought maybe that was just something last year that popped up, but no, it's kind of been something this year as well. Uh, worthy i'm more comfortable with taking it in day two and then the final pick here the philadelphia eagles take kamari lassiter uh he's from georgia i feel like that's all you really need to know about this pick oh eagles drafted a georgia player oh, okay eagle Bull or philadelphia bulldogs got it uh but yeah no i mean james bradbury Darius slay they're up there in dog years Makes sense to maybe go out and get a corner. Just depends um, where Lasser falls on your board. But uh, yeah, no, that's it for the video. Let me know what you think of this mock draft. There are a couple of interesting picks in this. But uh, that's it for the video. Go ahead. Do that YouTube thing. And as always, until next time, you be easy, my friends. Later.